Hey everybody, it's BBTV. Hey, I got a review for you today. Uh, not too long ago, and it's actually in my still in my recent video. Did a review on my Sure PG48. This guy right here. But now for Christmas, I recently got the limited edition white SM48. This is I I, I guess it's like the the big brother a little bit uh, if you compare them. I got the same size. Uh, look a little bit the same, although of course this is brand new, brand spanking new, unlike uh, this one, which is uh, really old. But I recently I had this mic since Christmas Day. Um, I didn't open it until after Christmas Day because I'm like, oh man, I gotta preserve this for a while. But it is a beauty. Look at that limited edition white. Looks like a beauty. Very nice. You got your XRL cables. Um, on the front, it says Sure SM48. Uh, Can't really see it because it's in, it's in gray, so I'm going to read it. Sure SM48. Then you got a picture of a polar pattern, and it says... It got to low Z, so this thing automatically cuts lows, or um, it, it's not supposed to be. It's like my voice, for example, is pretty bassy. If I hook this guy up, it, it'll it'll get rid of those lows a little bit and add some like a bring out the treble and bring out the mids in my voice. It'll cut those lows down, so you won't hear that extra rumble and stuff like that. So that's what that's for. It is a beauty, white body. And once again, this is limited edition. Um, so, uh, yeah, I brought this at Guitar Center. Um, well, my grandparents did. And uh, they, they, I guess the limited edition was uh, on sale at the time, so they just bought it. But this comes in black, uh, standard black. But uh, once again, uh, you can still find these white ones um, as a limited edition. There's no power switch like the uh, PG-48. This one does not have a power switch. So, uh... All you have to do is just plug it in and hook your plug into the back of your microphone and you're ready to go. There's no on and off switch and there's no trouble. So if you're somebody's performing or singing and they accidentally hit the off switch, that won't disturb anything. There's no power button whatsoever. So just keep on singing and you control it. You control the uh, how it goes on, on and off from your mixer. But uh, here's what it came with. I do not have the original box because, of course, I took it out. And all the continents that came with it, but one of them, one of the continents, was this nice padded carrying case. Look in there. What? It's decent, pretty decent. You can actually fit two Shure microphones in here, which I have. I fit two in here. I got my PG48 and my SM48 in the same case, which is pretty cool. So I can carry both of them uh, without them getting damaged. And, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is my microphone cable, and uh, there's this little thing that says Shure, and that is the, this is the microphone, uh, so you won't lose any of your cable, you can wrap it up with the Shure microphone uh, cable wrapper, <laughs> it's not the correct name, but uh, there it is, it says Shure, so all your cables will be organized. And then it came with a big, giant Shure sticker, of course, like all Shure mics. So you could put it on your wall, or it's just some like a little swag, you know. You can put it on your wall, you can put it on a uh, computer, whatever you want. I put it particularly on my mixer, because, uh, well, I think it fits great there. I'm a Shure user, and uh, everywhere I go, it's on my mixer, so people know that, hey, this, guy's, this guy uses the good stuff, he uses Shure. So uh, that's optional. If you want to use it, but you don't have to. I mean, you can throw it out, throw it out if you want. But uh, just a nice little collectible there. You can stick with anywhere you want. Sound on this microphone it is pretty decent. It's pretty good. Um, this is a cardinoid, so it has cardinoid pickup. So it'll pick up anything that's in front of it, but not on the sides. A little bit on the sides, but not too much. Like those instrument microphones, it won't get too much on the side. Just in front, like this. Picks up pretty well. You can actually go like this, and uh, if your gain's right, um, 
you can actually talk like this pretty much. And uh, that's another thing about this microphone I like. Uh, you can pump up the gain, and uh, it will go high gain. Uh, this thing will, this thing will uh, get loud before it starts to get feedback. So your gain can be uh, past 12 o'clock just a bit. Not a whole bunch, because, of course, you're going to get clipping and all of that. But you can go a little bit past 12 o'clock, and you'll be good. You won't be getting any feedback from this guy. Uh, it, it can handle from high pressure. Although they say it's only for speaking and karaoke and whatnot. I believe this is a good vocal mic. Uh, the big brother to it, which was a legendary mic, the Shure SM58 is even better than this guy. But uh, once again, I'm just starting out with my collection here. Um, uh, live sound equipment. Plus, I use these on gigs, so uh, I need something I can, like, uh, like just grab and go. And this is my grab and go mic. Uh, it's sturdy, very sturdy. I mean, I don't want to do it too hard. It isn't new, but very story sturdy, just like the PG48. You can toss this thing around. I'm not going to hit it against the wall. You can toss this thing around, do whatever you want with it, and it'll keep on ticking, just like my PG48, which is older little beat up, but hey, it still keeps on ticking, and I believe that sure mics will last a long time, at least the ones that I have, so go out and get you one of these, if you're the guy that does speaking engagements, if you're a standalone singer, if you're an acoustic one-man band, if you just need some live sound equipment for your uh, pro audio stuff for doing gigs, the Sure SM48 is very good, and I would also recommend the SM48. 58, for those of you who do some serious hardcore live sound, that's a really good mic. But this is good too. American made, limited edition, sure, SM48 mic. Good mic. Go get it.